My mom asked me a question. Claudia, uh, let's talk about tech and social media pet peeves. So pretty much, let's talk about things that other people do that get up on our nerves. Oh, it's going to be fun. Hi, mom. Hi, everyone. Claudia here. And yeah, let's talk about those tech and social media pet peeves. Let's jump to part two of the video. Pet peeve number eight would be, again, social media related. And it's about, I bet you are not going to read this post or I bet you are not going to share this post. And those are those uh, viral chain posts that you are just sh copy and uh, share with your followers on uh, social media. And uh, guys, do we really need to read that? I already read that same post from other 10 friends. Do I really need to read it 10 more times? Pet peeve number eight, hashtags. Oh, yes. How many hashtags you would consider that that's enough and how many that woo too many too many so imagine this you are checking instagram uh, your friend published or a business published a picture or a video they added a short description and then pew, 30 hashtags and then maybe a comment with additional several hashtags is it a pet peeve for you or you would say yeah whatever just put as many you want i get it i don't know sometimes i do pay attention because i think okay so here is the short description and then i have a lot of hashtags and i am guilty of doing that sometimes as well and sometimes i'm more like i don't care just i get it i understand hashtag away add as many hashtags as you want pet beef number 10 would be friends cleanup what does it mean? It means that uh, Facebook or Twitter, uh, people like to share from time to time a post that, hey, I'm doing a cleanup here. So I'm going to remove several people that are my, for example, Facebook friends or the people that I follow on Twitter, but they are not interacting with me that often. So I'm going to remove them as my friends on Facebook or followers, or I stop following them on Twitter. Okay, I guess spring cleaning is good because at some point, you know, we are friending everybody on Facebook and at some point we are like, That's too, I don't know those people really and we are not interacting. So, you know what, let me just uh, unfriend those people and move on. Okay, go for it. But do you really need to talk about it? You haven't interacted with those people for many months, weeks or years. Do the spring cleaning. Number 11, online trolls. And I would say this is more than just a pet peeve. That's, that's just wrong. Flat, 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 flat wrong. Disagreeing with someone, it's okay. This is just part of life. Having a civilized conversation, go for it. But being an online troll and being vicious and bully someone online, that's wrong. That's bad. Don't do it. And I know I'm saying just obvious stuff. Okay, with a little bit on the lighter side, pet peeve number 12 would be oversharing, which means sharing a whole bunch of pictures of your kids or pets online. Hey, look at my precious dog. My puppy is the best puppy in the world. Obviously it is. Mine are, obviously, for me, they are. And uh, we are oversharing. Someone can say that Oh, that's definitely pet peeve. It's, it's enough for me to see another picture of your dog, cat, stop. But I'm not going to say it because it's not my pet peeve because I'm oversharing pictures of my dogs and Frankie, the cat. So yeah, share away. It's fine. Just create a Instagram profile for your dogs, cats, or lizard, whatever pet you have and share as many pictures and videos you can there because there are people online who would love to see and watch those videos so yeah go for it this is not my pet beef because i absolutely don't mind seeing another picture of your sweet sweet dog i also may or may not share some pictures of my uh, pets here like right now like i'm sharing it right now and you can go and check also the instagram profile that I created just for them. Okay, pet beef number 13. Those are click bites. This is like, I have such a great news. I would like to share with all of you guys the best news ever. It's like, just, uh, this is amazing news and I'm going to share it in my next post. 
because right now I can't say everything. So uh, you have to wait till my next post in which I will say what is the great news. I've got nothing on this one. I mean, come on, just say, if you truly want to share it, you will just say, what is that great news? And we all will say, yay, yes, congratulations, proud of you, good for you, absolutely thrilled. Yeah, okay. But if you are creating a post that you are informing people that you have a great news and that's it, that is just simply a clickbait, which means you want people to click, like, uh, comment on it, so you will have a better exposure. I get it. You play the game. Stop click biting others. Pet peeve number 14. Look on my life, how successful and wonderful my life is. We get it. You're rich, successful, beautiful. Good for you. But all you share, it's a kind of the Instagram type of life. Everything is perfect. Everything is beautiful. Everything is great. And never anything bad happened to me. Is it possible that you don't even have a single minute of the day that you feel like, it's just, this is not my day. For me, that's a question like, oh, it's just something weird with that picture, but hey, who am I to judge? So bring it on, share away. It's just a little bit weird. So it's a tiny pet peeve, I guess. Number 15, selfies. And this is, yeah, okay, it's a pet peeve. Because if I look at somebody's profile and I see this is the selfie in the same place with the same background, the same angle of your camera, it's like, come on, just change something. I don't mind you taking gazillions of selfies. Good for you. Can you try maybe with a different background or with some props or from a different angle instead of it's always the same angle? Change it up. Do something different. See if you like it. Pet peeve number 16, new update is coming, new feature available. So quite often when we are using social media platforms or any mobile applications on your phone, you might notice that, hey, there's a new update, there's update after update after update, and sometimes that's very good, but there are new features, they are rearranging the layout of the application, and uh, we sometimes might be a little bit confused because it's different, it looks different. Sometimes it's just hard to keep up with all those updates, and then you open the application and everything everything looks different and you can't find a feature that you usually use uh, on those on this app and now you have to look around learn because of all those updates and new features that were added so sometimes that high number of updates and changing everything not necessarily is a good thing come on another update that's it guys what else would you add to the list but how many more pet peeves tech or social media would you add that's enough for today guys the world is the world is good or i would rather say people are good most of the time so let's before we start getting upset about those pet peeves take a deep breath take a deep breath and just inner smile and when we stumble across the pet peeve it's just like Take a step back. We've got this. We absolutely got this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's all for today. See you next time. And as always, stay safe, stay groovy.